In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and add the bosses for the port. The first thing we're going to do is right click on the top surface and create a sketch. Per our drawing, the port is at a 45 degrees. So let's go ahead and add that 45 degree construction line. To make this line a construction line, we need to right click and create construction. The next thing we're going to do is add the boss port. So this will be a rectangle. Since it's at an angle, we're going to use a three point by base. The left click, left click, and left click. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is add these to be parallel to the predefined angle and center it as well. Perfect. Now the last thing we need to do is get a dimension value for this. Okay, this is 2.5. Now top solid has a fancy function called project. We're gonna go ahead and steal the edge. I'm gonna unpin this because I'm done with it. So it'll close and validate. The next thing we're gonna do is start trimming. I have delete selected items selected. So I'm gonna delete the outside and we're good to go. I forgot to add the dimension, so no biggie. We could just right click on that point and add a perpendicular constraint to that. I'm gonna right click in space now and add a boss. The limit of the boss is gonna to be to a plane. The plane is gonna be the top face. You see we got a nice little preview there and validate. The next step we're gonna do is add a sketch, once again, to the top surface and we're gonna add a line at a 45. Pulling constraint line at 45 degrees. And literally add the dimension to the from the center. We want our sketch to be on both sides. And we're going to trim by profile. The arrow is going to select what we are going to remove. So I want it facing outwards. And I'm going to validate. Here, if you wish, you could right click on your sketch and hide. That way it's not visible. And then there's our flat face.